Welcome to Instrumentation Technician YouTube channel today our topic is actuator. An actuator is a mechanical device that is used to convert energy into motion. In the context of control valves, an actuator is a device that is used to move the valve stem in order to control the flow of fluid or gas through the valve. Actuators are commonly used in control valve applications because they allow for remote operation of the valve. The actuator is typically mounted on top of the valve and is connected to the valve stem. When the actuator receives a signal from a controller, it converts that signal into mechanical energy that is used to move the valve stem and control the flow. There are several different types of actuators that are commonly used in control valve applications, including 1. Pneumatic actuators. Pneumatic actuators use compressed air to generate the force required to move the valve stem. 2. Electric actuators. Electric actuators use electrical power to generate the force required to move the valve stem. 2. They can be powered by either AC or DC electrical sources. 3. Hydraulic actuators. Hydraulic actuators use hydraulic fluid to generate the force required to move the valve stem. 4. Manual actuators. Manual actuators are operated by hand and do not require any external power source. 5. Electrohydraulic actuators. Electrohydraulic actuators combine the advantages of both electric and hydraulic actuators. 5. They use electric power to control the flow of hydraulic fluid, which in turn generates the force required to move the valve stem. 5. They are commonly used in high-pressure applications. 6. Spring Return Actuators Spring return actuators are used in fail-safe applications where it is critical to have the valve return to a specific position in the event of a power failure. 6. These actuators use a spring mechanism to return the valve to its original position. 7. Double acting actuators. Double acting actuators are used when it is necessary to control the flow in both directions. 7. They use either pneumatic or hydraulic power to move the valve stem in either direction. 8. Smart actuators. Smart actuators incorporate advanced technology such as microprocessors, sensors, and communication protocols to provide enhanced control and monitoring capabilities. 8. They can provide information such as valve position, pressure, and temperature and can be programmed to adjust the valve position based on specific system requirements. 9. Torque actuators. Torque actuators are used in applications where high torque is required to operate the valve. 9. They can be either electric or hydraulic and are often used in high pressure applications. 10. Linear actuators. Linear actuators are used in applications where a linear motion is required to control the valve. 10. They can be either electric, hydraulic, or pneumatic and are often used in applications such as gate valves and globe valves. Actuators play a crucial role in the operation of control valves. They provide the force necessary to move the valve stem and control the flow of fluid or gas through the valve. The choice of actuator will depend on several factors such as the type of valve, the size of the valve, and the requirements of the specific application. Advantage Actuators provide several advantages in control valve applications, including 1. Remote operation. Actuators allow control valves to be operated remotely, which can be particularly useful in applications where the valve is located in a difficult-to-reach or hazardous location. 2. Improved control. Actuators provide precise control over the movement of the valve stem, which allows for more accurate control over the flow of fluid or gas through the valve. 3. Speed. Actuators can operate quickly, which makes them ideal for applications where fast response times are required. 4. Consistency. Actuators provide consistent, repeatable operation of the valve, which helps to ensure consistent performance and reliability of the control valve system. 5. Fail-safe operation. Some types of actuators, such as spring return actuators, provide fail-safe operation which ensures that the valve returns to a specific position in the event of a power failure or other system malfunction. 6. Enhanced Monitoring and Control Smart actuators can provide enhanced monitoring and control capabilities, such as real-time feedback on valve position, pressure, and temperature, which can help to optimize system performance and prevent downtime. 7. Adaptability Actuators can be adapted to a wide range of valve types, sizes, and materials, which makes them highly versatile and suitable for use in a variety of applications. 8. Low Maintenance. Actuators typically require very little maintenance, which can help to reduce downtime and maintenance costs. 9. 
Energy efficiency. Actuators can be designed to operate efficiently, which can help to reduce energy consumption and lower operating costs. 10. Improved safety. Actuators can improve safety and control valve applications by reducing the need for manual valve operation, which can be hazardous in some applications. 11. Reduced emissions. Actuators can help to reduce emissions by allowing for more precise control over the flow of fluid or gas through the valve, which can help to reduce waste and prevent leaks. 12. Customization. Actuators can be customized to meet specific application requirements, which can help to ensure optimal performance and efficiency. In summary, actuators provide several key advantages in control valve applications, including improved control, speed, consistency, adaptability, low maintenance, energy efficiency, safety, reduced emissions, and customization. These benefits make actuators an essential component of many control valve systems. Disadvantage. While actuators provide many advantages, there are also some potential disadvantages that should be considered. Here are a few. 1. Cost. Actuators can be more expensive than manual valves, particularly for larger valves and higher performance applications. 1. The cost of the actuator itself, as well as installation and maintenance costs, can add up quickly. 2. Complexity. Actuators add complexity to the control valve system, which can make troubleshooting and maintenance more challenging. 3. Reliance on power. Actuators require a power source, which means they may not be suitable for applications where power is unreliable or not available. 4. Limitations on temperature and pressure. Actuators may have limitations on the maximum temperature or pressure that they can handle, which may limit their suitability for some applications. 5. Compatibility. Some types of actuators may not be compatible with certain types of valves, which can limit their suitability for certain applications. 6. Potential for failure. As with any mechanical component, actuators have the potential to fail or malfunction, which can lead to system downtime and maintenance costs. 7. Complexity of control. Actuators can add complexity to the control system, which can require more specialized knowledge and expertise to operate and maintain. 8. Limited manual operation. Some types of actuators may not allow for manual operation, which can be a disadvantage in emergency situations or in applications where power is not available. 9. Noise. Some types of actuators, such as electric or pneumatic actuators, can generate noise during operation, which may be a concern in certain applications. 10. Maintenance requirements. While actuators generally require less maintenance than manual valves, they still require regular inspection and maintenance to ensure optimal performance and prevent downtime. 11. System integration. Actuators may require additional hardware, software, or control systems to integrate with the overall process control system, which can add to the overall cost and complexity of the system. 12. Compatibility with control system. Actuators must be compatible with the control system used to operate the valve, which can be a challenge in some applications where the control system is not well defined or standardized. It is important to carefully weigh the advantages and disadvantages of using an actuator in a control valve system before making a decision, taking into account the specific requirements of the application, such as temperature, pressure, flow rate, and other environmental factors.